If your Elm 327 Bluetooth dongle won't pair with the Cause Android radio, I'll show you how. It's a quick and easy fix. Let's go for the ride. issues with the Elm 327 dongle is that it won't pair properly with the cause Android radio. To get the Bluetooth to pair properly you do have to add an app to the cause radio and then it'll see the Elm 327. I'll walk you through it. There are many Bluetooth pairing apps that you could get at the Google Play Store. I'm going to show you the one that's free. It is a Chinese app and if you're like me, I don't like putting them on any of my devices. But what you do is just use it for the while that you need it. And then once we're done with all this, just uninstall it. First thing you need to know is the Bluetooth code that came with the Elm 327 dongle. Once you know that pairing code, you have to change your Android radio's Bluetooth code to the same code. In this case, my Elm 327 was code 1234. So I'm going to change my Bluetooth code on this radio to 1234. To change the Bluetooth pin on the Android radio, just hit your Bluetooth button. Then hit Settings. Then look for Device Pin. And as you can see, we have four zeros. We want to change that to the Elm 327 pin, which is one, two, three, four. So we're going to change that. One, two, three, four. Make sure you hit OK. And that takes care of that. Once you change the Bluetooth pin code, go to Google Play. And we want to search Bluetooth Pair. And the free app is right here. And it looks like Waylon Hung. Uh, and that is the symbol. Let me show you what it looks like. It's the one with the, the Bluetooth and the chain. So we're going to get that guy and we're going to install it and we're just going to wait for that to download okay now let's open up the new app we just loaded and it is called Bluetooth pair and it's not showing up so let's plug in the dongle into the OBD port. Okay, and we'll hit, we'll turn also the key to the on position. Let's hit refresh. And it just popped up uh, OBD2, and we're going to hit the pair button. Okay, click connect. Let's go back to our home screen. And let's see if the Real Dash app will connect to it. There we go. We are connected. And we'll just start her up and we'll show you. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Could you give me a thumbs up and also subscribe? 
and I hope to do another video real soon. Thanks for watching. One of the issues with the Elm 327 dongle is that it won't share properly with the car's Android radio. You know that pairing code. You have to change your Android radio's Bluetooth code.